Guten Tag! I am Major Willis and I'm the Army Veterinarian stationed here at U.S. Army Garrison Onslaught. Today I'm going to cover a few things you need to be aware of as you prepare to PCS to Germany. First, you're going to want to contact your VTF immediately once you find out that you are headed to Germany. There are certain requirements that need to be met prior to travel. Also, if your pet has any medical conditions that need to be treated, we'll need to make sure those are taken care of prior to travel. Two, there are some unique German requirements. One, you have to have an ISO compliant microchip. Some veterinary clinics stateside do issue these at normal visits, and in other cases, they use a US standard microchip. Secondarily, you're going to need to have a rabies vaccination. The primary rabies vaccination must be issued after the microchip is implanted. A primary vaccine is considered if it is the first rabies vaccine that has ever been given to the pet, or if it is the first vaccine after a microchip was implanted. And lastly, if unfortunately there was a lapse in your pet's rabies vaccine, they'll need to get it redone. This is important because you are not allowed to travel with a pet within 21 days of a primary rabies vaccine. So that timeline is important. Finally, you are going to need an EU health certificate. This is different than the health certificate issued to travel between individual states within the United States. Also, this has to be issued within 10 days of travel. Your army veterinarian is able to issue this health certificate but civilian veterinarians are able to do it as well, as long as they are USDA accredited. However, if a civilian veterinarian does it, it has to be endorsed by an AFES official. If it is done by an Army veterinarian, this requirement is waived. So it is much easier if you're able to book that appointment on post. Next, there are a few things that you need to consider as you book your pet's travel. One, Patriot Express only authorizes two pets per family. That's important to know because many families are booked their travel through Patriot Express. Second, U.S. Army Garrison on Spock housing limits pets to two pets per household. And in the current situation, the majority of families are stationed and housed on post. Next, commercial airlines may be used for travel if Patriot Express is full or if it better meets the family's needs. Those requirements are changing constantly in light of COVID. Previously, animals may have been taken by an airline and now may not be. Also, in the last couple of years, there have been some changes in the breed types airlines are comfortable to bring on board. Brachycephalic breeds or snub nose breeds such as boxers, French bulldogs, and British short haired cats are frequently not authorized travel on most airlines. Also, if you have a giant breed dog, it may be too big for the cargo container area and you may need to book an international pet shipper. This is much more expensive and is a good thing to know prior to travel. Finally, dangerous dog breeds in Germany are identified. Within Germany, there are four that apply across all states. The American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and Bull Terrier. These dogs are not authorized entry into Germany. And as a visitor within our host nation, it is important that we comply with their rules and regulations. Additionally, Bavaria has about a dozen other dog breeds that are also not authorized. The three most common on that list are the Bull Mastiff, Mastiff, and Rottweiler. On rare occasions, there are exceptions made, but you should contact your local German consulate for more information. Ultimately, ensuring that your pets are ready for travel is your responsibility as a pet owner, but we are here to help. We want to make your PCS as stress-free and easy as we can. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you here in Germany.